can you do that? I don't know. I can. <laughs> I will eat eyeballs on any dirty street on the side of some hot, musty, nasty kitchen. But this is scary for me. <laughs> Our family is about to embark on one of the most incredible journeys that we've ever thought about doing. We are getting scuba certified. Now scuba diving, yay! Well, not today, technically. We're going tomorrow. I know, we lived in an RV for two and a half years. I know we hiked 40 days on a Camino. Honestly, I never thought we would get to this point. But to be able to say that we can sort of hang out underwater with the fish, this is something I've been looking forward to for a super long time. So when I first heard that we were going to go scuba diving, I was like, no way, that's for people older than me. But I'm super excited because it sounds so awesome to basically be able to fly underwater. Maybe like 18, 19, 20. As a kid growing up in Florida, I always thought of the people that went scuba diving, like with their families that had boats. I always thought to myself, you know what? Wow, that's nice. That's something that I'd always love to do. I, because I always saw like nobody as a kid does scuba diving. But I'm super, super, super excited. I'm also a bit nervous because I'm wondering what happens if you cough underwater. To actually get to the point that we're gonna get scuba certified, as a family of four, all together, it is mind-blowing. And good morning from Okinawa. This is the land that we've landed for the next month. A month? surrounded by water, surrounded by gorgeous, hot, <laughs> humid temperatures, and surrounded by everything that's sea and sand that we can ever imagine that we're gonna want to do. Okinawa for us is going to be a place where, I don't know how cultural we're gonna get here because the fact that this is supposed to be the, like the month of, of birthday celebrations and anniversaries and us trying to go ahead and just like revive the fact that we're alive and we're happy to be here and we're just wanna sort of be a little self-indulgent. So this month, be prepared for a lot of surf, a lot of sand, a lot of sort of island adventures, so, so forth and so on. And today, well, today is going to be the start of something really magical. We're going to start our scuba diving expedition learning extravaganza. So I think it's going to be relatively easy for three of the bunch and moderately hard for me. So because this was a bit short notice, we have a 12 hour e-course to do today. All of it today. All I know is that we just crammed like, like college kids. I hated courses. In full transparency, I have gone through this entire scuba diving class and passed everything except for my final dive when I was in university because, and I'm almost embarrassed to admit this, I was going on spring break with my friends and I opted to go hang out in my bikini in Florida with friends so I never took my final dive and I never got certified. So I remember this part. Because I remember this. Yay! I remember some stuff from college when I took this course. Are I'm so really, excited. Are you really talking about when you were in college? Like, like 20, 30 years ago. Are you also going to start talking about when you were in high school and how you were a cheerleader? Are you really going to start talking about You guys about love it when I do my cheerleading. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Here we go. <laughs> Patty Diver and cheerleader. It was an all-day affair. I woke up this morning and decided we weren't going, that that was it, that it wasn't safe for me to go in the water with anxiety like this. So I have a philosophy in life when it comes to just about everything, that if, if someone else can do it, there's no reason why I can't do it. And I was thinking to myself, I meditate, I can work through this, but my, lo like, my logic was just not in place at all. I, I, I truly believe that there's nothing that is not within my wheelhouse if I give myself enough effort. I'm so, so damn scared. <laughs> so our plan today is we are our plan today is to do all the confined water dives right now yes we will do all the confined waters right now so we have five sections to cover 
and we will be a lot of fun. So since we're super advanced, <laughs> yeah. we get to take care of all of it in one day would normally be two days, right? I guarantee you, you're gonna be better at this than, than, than your surfing experience. <laughs> well, I don't think, that's I not, hope so. God, that's that not really weird. a high bar to cross, Dad. So when we saw the gear, it looked really, really hard. It was super complex. There were like tons of different valves and stuff. So the first thing is that I will explain about the tanks, okay, for you guys. So we always have two different kinds of tanks that we use for diving. So this one that I will be using today, it's a steel tank. And like different strings you could pull for. It was, it was really, really complicated, but after she explained it all, it got a lot easier. Yours? Actually, yours is the smallest one. So this one is Jessica. She thread through the top one and close. Mom was absolutely terrible. She started freaking out right when we got there. Anxiety ridden. Mom didn't do so well. I don't know nope. if I want to do with him. He's not paying attention. Do you know which way go which way's up, Jess? No. No. It's not that hard, you know that. Hey. Honestly, you're getting annoying. It's like that. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Pull it back. Maybe just push it on. Ouch. So when we got to the first thing we saw was this massive pool and I was pretty psyched about that because you always see like university classes where there's pools and there's people out there and they got tanks. Well, because of what's happening now with the travel bans, we had this place all to ourselves. Look at this. Logo, can you touch there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mom did really, really badly. She was nervous the entire time. I couldn't tell until she told me afterwards. I knew that we were gonna have all these kinds of exercises we were gonna do in the water because we'd done the e-learning course and it shows you everything and you, you know, logic says, I'm gonna have to do these in the water. And some of them, even when I was watching the course, I was in panic, like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna take my mask off. Oh, I'm gonna take the thing I breathe out of my mouth in the water and then put it back in. I was very confident. I was a bit nervous though, just because like going underwater and <clears throat> I don't know. Like having your nose not be a thing breathing kind of freaked me out. But it's a lot easier than it seemed. It's actually really fun. Let me tell you, they were all pretty manageable, but when we took a vote of what our least favorite was, my least favorite was when I had to take my mask off, put it back on, and then release the water from it. Because for whatever reason, every time I did that, I got a little bit of water up my nose, which I kind of, <gasps> and then I calm yourself. You're not gonna drown. You're in a swimming pool. You're gonna be fine. You did okay? Yeah. yeah. What happened? Nothing. I just got water in here and I thought I had too much water in there and because I was nervous I was floating out. Hanging in there? Yeah. Ah, okay. Being underwater felt really good. It felt almost as if my mind was telling me one thing and my body was telling me another thing. My mind was saying, oh no, you're underwater, hold your breath, run away, run up into the air but my body was telling me, you're fine, you're breathing, you're perfectly alive. The kids were fabulous. Within literally about 10 minutes in the pool, they were swimming all around, they were touching their gadgets, they were looking at things. I thought maybe they were just gonna pull the thing out of their mouth and start practicing without the instructor even giving us instructions. They did phenomenal, like surprisingly phenomenal. How are you doing there, Winston? Uh, we get to do something really fun now. <laughs> As we're transitioning from one pool to the other, we're now gonna go into what's called the deep water diving. So 
No, we're not going to the ocean, but there's a pool right over here, which is uh, a little bit deeper so we could test our abilities to actually go to sort of be on our knees because this pool right over here we're trading at is, is really not that deep. So how are you feeling so far, Jess? Um, I'm getting more comfortable. You are? Yeah. yeah. Listen, there was a point that I saw you in the water. Whoa, sorry about that. That was me. Uh, there was a point I saw you in the water and I thought to myself, there was no way you're going to continue just another second forward I, there was anxiety there was fear there was how do i get this water out of my mask going on it just it didn't I still feel that a little bit <laughs> but largo had some sort of a problem with pressure when we got in the deeper pool three two what oh wow it's warm he could not go all the way down to the bottom for our last kind of exam thing that we needed to do because he got some pain in his tooth, which I'm not really sure why. Super bummed about Largo. But it was heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking to see this because he wanted to go down. He Where does it hurt? Right up there. Okay. Tilt your head back. Yeah, we're okay with that. He's 12. He's okay. Yeah. I don't think that's a cavity. Now in the video it says there's just there's gonna be a loose tooth. Some there's little an air pocket, but it's usually with a cavity. Like there's a it's filling in the air pocket. Feeling. But there's no filling there. It's, just, it's, it's actually a new a new tooth. It just it fell out about five months ago, maybe. It is. It's one of those things where we thought that scuba diving was, was going to be a family event that we thought that we we're going to hang out as as a unit. If Largo can't do this, there's we have to almost re rethink about where we want to spend the next year. If we want to go back to Asia and hang out in Thailand because it's supposed to be all about scuba diving, we may be going back to France. And I'm hoping that in two days it'll pass and he can go down on the ocean dive with us. We'll check back tomorrow, but I mean, if it keeps hurting, I probably won't be able to complete my certification. But in that, it'll be fun. So it's the next day. How are you feeling today, Largo? Mm, good. Yeah? How's your, how's your tooth feeling? Oh, my tooth doesn't hurt when I'm out of water. It just hurts when I'm in water, which I mean is kind of, can't really gauge if it's gonna hurt. How you feel about scuba though? Well, I mean, I want, I want it to be today. I want it to be today. It was supposed to be today, but we canceled, no. We pushed it back, so. Today's yet another day within the experience of world towning. Um, adventures all around the world, and today, because Largo's not feeling great, we're, we're trying to make him, we're trying to be careful with this thing, because Largo had some pressure in his tooth, he had some sinus problems. We don't know whether it's like a cold or whether it's something more, so we're here at the hospital to get checked out, because we think that, well, we just want a clean bill of health before you go back into, into the ocean, and if we're gonna get tested, we're gonna get tested for the entire thing, which means we have to get tested for COVID, we're gonna test for COVID. Amen, right here. Oh my gosh, that is... Get yes, the phone. Get yes, let's get... I'm so getting sad. back on too. Get your phone off. You see, Largo doesn't, Largo doesn't have like the traditional like symptoms of COVID because like he has like the whole nasal thing. Um, he had a slight headache, no fever. We're just, we're just trying to be certain, but they're making it a little bit challenging for us to actually get into here and get a test done. Well, we've been here for about 45 minutes and they're trying to figure out where we go for a test and how we get it. 
because um, it doesn't seem to be something you can just go into any place and get tested. So they're trying to figure it out for us right now over there. So finally, after hours of waiting, well, which is honestly typical of hospitals, this is this what happened in the U.S. too. It was about two hours. It just felt like it was longer because we couldn't communicate with anyone. Actually, two hours is bad. And we're now being taken down to the lower levels where they do all the lab testing on the people. We're like lab rats. <laughs> but look, there's a family mart. Oh my gosh. There, look. Look. Right there, we can, we can get ourselves some, some more coffee. Okay. Wow, they're putting us in super quarantine area. Look at that, There's like plastic right over here. Here's the problem with this room, is that he doesn't have COVID, people with COVID have been in here. I don't think we should sit down. I agree. And there's no Purell down here. I'm sure there is. There's a family mart. They sell it there. I'm kind of creeped out in this room. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to touch anything. Don't touch your eyes. Don't touch anything. The like, well, we're just going to take a shower. You this know. is the COVID room. Headache, cough, cough. drowsiness, like mm -hmm. I'm tired. Um, I'm, okay. And oh my gosh, the coughing, a throat oh. ache, and then nose. Okay. So, so, so Yes, okay. and could you sniff it in? So they have a runny nose too. You've got. He had a runny nose. I have one. I it's have one. It's still runny, but it's yeah. It's not really mm -hmm. runny sometimes. It's but okay. it's like stuck in here. Yeah. Now. Oh, okay, okay. He, have, he has had no fever. Uh -huh. So it, we what? almost didn't bring him in because he's had no fever. Uh -huh. But my sister had the virus and never had a fever. Oh, okay. So we were like, oh my gosh, we should bring him in because if we're exposing other people, you know, it's the right thing to do. So now we're actually going inside the waiting room right over here, the actual doctor's room. This little COVID-19 section, it's it sounds scary. so weird. It's, it's so scary. It's so scary. It's like but, a zombie movie. <laughs> but we're about to get into the special doctor's room that only a special people will get into. Very special. The, the really so weird special. part is that if we don't have it, but we get it from being here because of our being cautious, that's really gonna Honestly, stink. We should just go in quarantine now. Contact okay. tracing. What happened? We went to the hospital. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Now this is where it got really interesting. As you can tell, the Japanese hospital took every precaution to ensure that all suspected COVID patients were isolated, which was encouraging. But what happened next blew us away, as getting tested for COVID is not as easy as it should be. Uh, our Japanese, oh, you know, prefectural. Prefectural, uh, by the way, we don't, we don't test any people unless they have fever. Oh boy. So if he gets, if he gets better, uh -huh. you, you can go out. So if we get a test in two weeks and it says he's had it, uh -huh. just, just, we're going to have to say that we came here. And if you say we didn't have a fever, the government, everything's going to be okay with that? Okay, I just want to make sure. And if he's had it, they're going to ask us, what did you do? Okay. Or were you irresponsible? Mm -hmm. So, okay. okay. Is that okay? Are you going to be okay? Have you had anyone? Oh, we don't test people about fever. I was going to ask if you've had anyone who has COVID that hasn't had a fever. But you don't test them unless they have a fever, correct? Yeah. Okay. How's it going? It appears they're not concerned that Margo has COVID. It might just be a cold, so it looks like he's not getting it tested and he's going to clean your house. Means Laura can go scuba diving. <laughs> if your ears, the cold doesn't bother the ears, right? It was a tooth. Oh, it was a tooth. Okay, well, let's just pull that tooth. This is a new tooth. Oh, a new tooth. We don't want to get rid of a new tooth. Then. Laura, good news. No COVID. You're not infected. He doesn't have it? Well, they won't. Were you surprised? <laughs> I don't know. They don't. Um, they don't test unless he has a fever. So they're pretty confident he doesn't have it because he doesn't have a fever. So oh, fever. you got the get out code jail card, Largo. <laughs> Good job. So with that, we left the hospital and chalked Largo's issues up to a mild sinus infection. And now we're ending this episode. 
Join us next time as we get back into the water to finish our scuba training and find out if Largo can go deep on our open water dive. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications icon to see what happens the moment the next episode is released. So this is the joy that is traveling full time. You get to test your luck at whether you have coronavirus or not. This is, <laughs> I have to say, this is the pain, but if I didn't come test, and something was wrong with Largo, to be honest, it'd be, it'd be really bad. And if I didn't get to enjoy this guy's wonderful hold music, I, I think I'd be truly be missing out too.